The Nine News drone provides a captivating view of the half mile long Colorado volcano known as the Dotsero Crater. Dotsero is kind of an anomaly. We don't really know why it exists, where it exists. Most of Colorado's volcanic activity ceased about 30 million years ago. But mysteriously, Dotsero last erupted about 4,000 years ago, around the time the Great Pyramids were being built in Egypt. It was what's called a Frito magmatic eruption. Which means a large amount of water came in contact with molten rock deep below the Earth's surface, causing a massive eruption. Geologists describe it as mostly an ash and steam explosion, with lava flowing down the hillside to the south. And all that's left today is a massive crater 200 feet deep. You get things that we call lava bombs. Archaeologist Rich Bush is an educator with the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Volcanic rock from Dotsero is stored in the museum's collection. This was tossed through the air at some point. You can see the curve, the arc of it. He says the entire Dotsero lava flow only covered a few miles. This is not a major eruption event. It's Earth having a burp. There we go. That little burp did manage to run down to the Eagle River. Drone 9, again useful here to show the long lava field and the volcanic cliffs that still sit along the edge of the water. And actually diverted the Eagle River down to the south of that floodplain. In the middle of that lava flow is Interstate 70. A highway drive through Dotsero means you are driving right over top of that 4,000 year old lava field. A new report from the USGS rates the threat of all the country's active volcanoes. An eruption within the last 10,000 years is all that's needed to be considered active. The report does not show how likely a volcano is to pop. It just assesses what may be impacted if it were to blow today. Its proximity to I-70 is likely what moves Dotsero up to number 82 on the moderate threat category. You can see all this basalt here. Volcanic rocks found along the interstate are just echoes of Dotsero's two known eruptions. Mostly porous basalt with lots of iron and magnesium. Having rusted or oxidized over time, they are now red or black, but a unique blend of shiny specks in some rocks here earned the name Dotsero Diamonds. Now, before you go like running out there and grab diamonds, they're not diamonds. Um, they're little pieces of quartz um, that were picked up as the lava moved across the landscape. The bubbling heat of the nearby Glenwood Hot Springs fuels rumors of a hidden magma chamber lurking below this dusty part of Colorado, perhaps waiting for another chance to see the light of day. The articles in the literature I'm familiar with says the opposite. Bush says there are no remaining magma chambers under Colorado that we are aware of. Our hot springs come from water heated by the core of the earth rising up to the surface. So with no magma chambers and a relatively quiet volcanic history over the last 30 million years, with the exception of two mysterious Dotsero burps, Bush does not expect to see this crater flare up again. Probably not in our lifetime. Probably not in our kids' lifetime. <laughs> I am not holding my breath, no. From Eagle County, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.